Welcome back. Well, temperatures wise this morning, not too bad. So I don't think you're going to need a jacket as you head out the door this morning. We still got some 60s and some low 70s out there. We are currently sitting at 71 degrees here in Lexington. It's 72 in Richmond, 70 for Danville as well as London, 66 for Stanton and Somerset, 68 for Jackson. So not too bad this morning. We're still well above the average low of 48 degrees. We'll take it. Taking a look outside at your Fort Pink Sky View of Mount Sterling, we're looking at calm conditions. It's a little bit of a shine to the roadway. So it's still a little damp out there, and that's mainly because of showers, even some thunderstorms that we saw passing through yesterday evening. But things are much quieter this morning. Yes, there could be a few isolated showers out there, but nothing comparable to yesterday. Yesterday we saw some more scattered showers and even thunderstorms. And we are still holding on to mostly cloudy skies, but I think they will break up a little bit more as we head into the afternoon. So I think we should be able to see some peaks of sunshine. But I do want to take a look at an 18-hour loop of satellite and radar. All of that activity that was moving through yesterday evening and even even into the early parts of the overnight has moved off to the north and the east. So again, we are looking at some quieter conditions this morning, but we still have that chance for an isolated shower. So you might want to grab the umbrella just for the morning. By the afternoon, it looks like we should be drying things out. But we did see some heavier rain showers at times yesterday evening. So I do want to take a look at some of those rainfall totals. You can see Franklin as well as Jackson County coming in at over an inch. And you can see Casey as well as Fayette County coming in close behind Nicholas and Breathitt County coming in at just over about a half and into some varying totals out there. But again, we saw some heavier rain showers as well as some gustier winds at times and even some lightning strikes with some isolated storms moving through. That was all thanks to an area of low, pre of low pressure as well as a warm front that's continuing to slowly move off to the north and east. So that's why we're seeing a lot more of that activity. Now we do have a cold front that is starting to move through and it's going to slowly continue to push through. So that's why we could still see a few isolated showers earlier today. It will be passing through by late morning and behind it we're going to continue to see some drier air moving in. So we'll eventually start to see those dew points dropping and it will still start to feel a little more comfortable out there. Right now, though, you can see dew points still generally in the upper 60s and some 70s. But take a look off to the west. We've got some dew points in the 40s and the 50s. So that's indicative of some drier air that will eventually be making its way toward us. But here's a look at the future cast because that front's still going to be moving through this morning. A few isolated showers are possible. But heading into the afternoon, we're going to dry things out. I think even work in a few peaks of sunshine before the end of the day. But we might see a little bit of extra cloud cover building in overnight. But we should be staying dry even as we start your Thursday, a little bit cooler with temperatures in the 50s. We could see a chance for an isolated sprinkle for your Thursday, but I think mainly we are going to be staying on the dry side, and that will continue into your Friday thanks to an area of high pressure that will be settling in. Now, let's take a look at the weekend. Temperatures are going to be warming up. We'll be staying a little bit cooler for today as well as tomorrow, but we're going to be back in the 80s for the weekend, mainly staying dry, but there is a late chance on Sunday for some showers and some storms, but mainly throughout the day, it's looking pretty good. For today, though, again, just some isolated showers this morning, generally mostly cloudy skies, but we might be able to work in some peaks of sunshine, a little breezy at times. Temperature Temperatures generally in the low to mid 70s. Tonight's going to be a little cooler. Temperatures will drop right around the mid 50s with partly cloudy skies. Some patchy fog redeveloping for your Thursday morning. And here's a quick look at the seven day forecast again. Today, and tomorrow, a little bit cooler, but then we start to warm things up for Friday and into the weekend. The 80s are back. But as I mentioned, a chance for some showers and storms on late Sunday night thanks to a cold front. And that's going to help to drop temperatures from 80s on Sunday to the upper 60s on Monday. So a taste of fall day early next week.